conspiracy theorist, a term to discredit those who have seen through the bullshit, created of course by the CIA. If anti-vaxxers are lying, why isn't Big Pharma suing for libel? I suppose that's because one would have to prove their case and we all know Pharma wouldn't be able to do this. Who has the worst state pension of any major country? Oh look, look who it is, it's us. What a shock. <clears throat> Britain's workers can look forward to the worst state pension of any major country according to a report by the development, developed world's leading economic think tank. The Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, study <coughs> calculated that a typical British worker will at, will at retirement receive a state pension and other benefits worth around 29% of what they, will, they had pre, previously been earning. That compares with an average of 63% in other OECD countries and more than 90% in Italy and the Netherlands. The not so great Britain, the worst for state pension. So you were given one, hour's last, one hour last week on your zero hour contract. Brilliant, we now won't need to count you as unemployed. And she looks evil as well. Noon's Digest Disgusting Insult to Pensioners. Pensioner 1. Will I buy a bale of briquettes uh, with the extra fiver? The house is freezing. Pensioner 2. Will I buy food with this extra fiver or pay the ESB? Pensioner 3. Because I am 70, I will be receiving an extra £5 in my pension. I will also be getting an extra 5000 because of the Haddington Road Agreement. Wording what to do, wondering what to do with all the extra cash. Maybe I'll buy some more shares or maybe a few bonds. Anyway, let's celebrate with a good wine. If a man is born ignorant to parents that are ignorant in a society that is ignorant, life is lives a life of ignorance and eventually dies. Ignorance, ignorance is a norm. So indoctrination can be called education, hypnotism can be called entertainment, criminals can be called leaders and lies can be called truth because his mind was never truly his own. Yellow Vest protest, Hull, Saturday 26th of January 11am, Queen's Queen Victoria Square. We should have them in every city. Wanted Total incompetent, must be prepared to do as little work as possible. However, high the stakes ex uh, experience at lying and making shit up essential. Salary £3,000 an hour. David Davis to earn 60000 for 20 hours work at JCB. For only £55 million a day, the EU will turn your country into a shithole. Proven oil reserves. Don't forget oil is really expensive because there's such a lack of it. Oh, Venezuela, 300,878. 300, Saudi Arabia, 266,455. Canada, 169,709. Iran, 158,400. Iraq, 142,503. Kuwait, 101,500. United Arab Emirates, 97,800. Russia, 80,000. Libya, 48,000. Nigeria, 37,026. Of course, there's an oil shortage, you know. Yeah. Nothing to do with making money off uh, in f false figures. <clears throat> Over 50% of French citizens are unhappy with media coverage of Yellow Vest poll. Uh, Moscow, Sputnik. As many as 51% of French nationals are dissatisfied with the media coverage of Yellow Vest protests in the country. A Kantar poll showed on January 24th. 32% of respondents, in contrast, positively ass uh, assessed the coverage according to the Pulse's tr uh, Trust bar Barometer. Meanwhile, 67% of the French were convinced that the media were over-dramatising the events. A total of 52% believed that people with hard-line views were too frequently given a platform to speak from. 
basically they know that the French media, just like the British media, are just propaganda arms of the criminal dictatorship, which they like laughingly call government. Teen girl seriously injured in Germany after drunk Afghan refugee drags her off bus. A 17 year old girl was seriously injured in Minden, Germany after a drunken Afghan refugee dragged her off a bus by her hair causing her to be run over while trying to escape the man. According to a police statement, the girl was repeatedly harassed by the 22 year old Afghan refugee while she waited at a bus terminal in Minden near Han Hanover with her 14 year old friend just before 9am local time on Saturday. Immigration because it doesn't work at all. 10 EU truths we must tell the public. 1. Over 40 years the leadership of the Conservative, Labour and Lib Dem parties have been taken over by pro-EU Bilderbergers. They implement EU policy and ignore the wishes of the, their voters. That's why your vote doesn't make a difference. 2. The six European Union treaties give it, give it the constitution of a dictatorship and the laws of a police state. Dictatorship leads uh, to oppression and poverty. Really? I hadn't noticed myself, had you? Much. Three. The Queen has signed all six EU constitutional treaties which abolished Britain as an independent nation on 1st of January 2009. Four. The EU is illegal under British law. Five Prime Ministers and the Queen committed six acts of treason by signing the EU treaties which abolished the nation and replaced it with the EU. They secretly repealed two of the five laws of treason in the 98 Crime and Disorder Act sections 36 part 3 to escape prosecution but when the change comes it won't make a difference five the police state growing around you and reported on by some national newspapers is the eu police state we've been in the eu for 38 years we are harmonizing our uh, laws with the eu the emerging police state is the result Six, the political correctness and the undermining of parents, the family and teachers, the teaching of sex and homosexuality to the under tens, the promotion of single parent families, snatching 4,000 family children a year from good parents for forced adoption, trauma and trauma through injustice in our now corrupt British courts, etc., etc., is subversion by the EU. It's common purpose organisation and Freemasonry over the last 38 years using 200 plus techniques of the Frankfurt School. Seven, the EU will be an economic disaster. Now, now uh, we now lose 45 million a year trading with Europe before we joined the, the we broke it broke even the EU's 120,000 regulations cost us 100 billion a year better regulation commission annual report 2005 they will bring us a Soviet style command economy and poverty our politicians lied to us and still are eight if you have voted Conservative Labour Lib Dem over the last 38 years, you have voted for the EU police state and for the abolition of your own party. 9. German, German Chancellor Angela Merkel forced the ref reform of Lisbon Treaty Honours, passed by Westminster 21st of January, 138 majority, which replaced the British Constitution with the EU's 1st January 2009. Westminster is now powerless, defunct and a puppet government. You are ruled by an unelected EU dictatorship uh, who will soon control the nuclear weapons of what used to be Britain and France. 10. Um, 10. Britain is the fifth largest economy amongst the world's 200 nations. Forget elections and parties whose leadership are controlled by the EU. Fight the, the direct anti-EU campaigns of the EU Truth website to get Britain back before it's too late. We need a general strike against the EU. Start by visiting your local MPs and warn him he will lose his £240,000 of salary and expenses when the EU closes Westminster. Scientists warn that 5G tech found in Wi-Fi street lamps is causing insomnia, nosebleeds and stillbirths. 
Natural news across the pond, one brave man is speaking out about sudden spike in health problems he believes are related to lead street lamps that purported emit 5G radiation. In Gateshead, a town in northern England, citizens are reporting an array of disturbing side effects including insomnia, nosebleeds and even stillbirths. And Mark Steele has something to say about it. But of course, many will say, oh no, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Will you have to die to get that they it, it, 5G is a kill weapon? It's not about improving phone or or, or, or the internet. It's about killing you. <clears throat> Jail for Oxford gang who violently raped unconscious schoolgirl. They should be executed. Execution is the only only real deterrent I can see. Three men who groomed, raped and carried out a campaign of violent child sex abuse against a girl with no friends in Oxford have been handed jail centres. Mohammed Karar, 44, Basman Karar, 39 and Anjum Dogar, 37, were handed life sentences for crime including 10 counts of rape, indecent assault, conspiracy to rape carried out between 2005 and 2002 when their victim was alleged aged between 14 and 16 and Oxford Court heard. During the three-week trial, jurors heard the vulnerable victim was lonely and friendless when she was targeted by the gang, who forced her to perform sex acts in flats, vehicles and public parks and them, on themselves and on other men during the campaign of abuse. They should serve their life term and then execution, I think, would be the perfect remedy. UK retirees face state pension cuts after review under uncover errors overpayment and disparities discovered in record going back 40 years right so the criminal cartel the, the call themselves government have made mistakes so we should not be held accountable for their mistakes they should be held accountable and deduct it out of their benefits their pay packets you see how things will change quickly then Tens of thousands of retired UK workers faced cuts to their state pension after overpayments and dis were discovered in data checking exercises, experts have warned. The government confirmed retired workers could see their state pension payments, even though we're already the lowest pe state pension virtually on the planet. We're going to cut it some more. Payments reduced after tens of thousands of errors in recorded records going back 40 years were identified during the biggest data ma matching exercise involving retirement pay pen benefits in the UK. This required thousands of public and pri private sector retirement schemes to review records held up for work millions of workers who contracted out of, of a government plan and, uh, that allowed them to actually accumulate uh, additional state pensions. Under contracting out uh, agreements, both employer and employees were allowed to pay reduced national insurance contributions which lowered the pension of the individual were entitled to. But in return, workplace retirement schemes promised to, to replace the part of the employment state pension with uh, grant minimum pension. So the government's screwed up again by by design they knew this was coming they've known this this is a long-term plan they've been using to screw the public yet again had enough yet get your yellow vest even though it's a psyop british business and motorists pay one of the highest fuel tax rates in the world as petrol sales fall to lowest on record uk drivers pay highest combined diesel and unleaded taxes in the world high diesel taxes are hurting the small business backbone of britain sales of fuel has dropped 25 percent in just six years they don't want you traveling i've been saying this for years as you all know british motorists and business are paying some of the highest fuel tax rates in the world and sell to cash strapped uk drivers have slumped to a record low two new surveys now reveal uh, uk pump prices overall are some of the world's highest prices 60p in every pound spent that's four quarters is tax it's a way more than 60p i guarantee it don't forget you've got vat on top of that putting a fragile economic risk uh, recovery at risk say industry accounts and experts Meanwhile, cash strap motorists are slashing their petrol and diesel consumption to cope with soaring domestic energy bills, says the AA. Petrol costs, the tax on 
a liter of fuel in the UK the highest in the world. As a result, sales of petrol and more in March plummeted to their lowest in, on record and are down a quarter on the five three months of the year. Uh, the motoring organisation said the new the news comes as RAC predicts a two p two p rise in to one pound thirty point two one a litre the uh, cost of petrol which is nevertheless down on a one forty paid a year ago it, it rose about above one thirty this week for the first time since January it also comes despite a series of fuel duty freezes and <laughs> Gordon, Chancellor Gordon on them, right. Corrupt government ripping us off again. Time to stand up. Time to get off your knees, stand up, and face these criminals in Parliament. Fury, father's fury at £90 fine after camera snapped his car while he was in a family with his family queuing in a traffic to leave a McDonald's drive through. Well, to be honest with you, if you're eating at McDonald's, you deserve to pay the fine. Peter Filmer, 34, received the parking fine after waiting at a Kent service station. The Folkestone resident was driving a rental car he had hired for from Europe car. He planned to dispute the fine and was hit with a further fine from Eurocar. The Filmer, Mr. Filmer, is getting all the money refunded after pleading his case. He started as a quick McDonald's run soon turned into an expensive pit stop for old Kent man. Well, serves you right. And to be fair, you look like you're a bit of a retard. Uh, you've proven it by eating the shit that they serve us and they call it food at McDonald's. Peter Filmer, 34, was stuck with a nine, six pound parking fine while waiting to leave a McDonald's drive through at a Whitfield service station near Dover. Mr. Filmer was making a, a trip in a rental vehicle from Europe car uh, from her, his home in Folkestone to Broadstairs when he and his family wife decided to stop off for a quick drink of poison. Why are we still using 19th century law that criminalises homelessness? While the 1924 Vagrancy Act remains on the books, rough sleepers are being punished rather than being offered help. While the government continues to its steady and self-absorbed dis disintegration over Brexit, the country outside the Palace of Westminster is in crisis. As I write this uh, uh, across the country, temperatures have fallen below freezing and the threat to life for those forced to live in on Britain's streets is dire. A combination of cruel Tory austerity and the, dec the decades-long housing crisis have left more, than, more and more people facing homelessness and rough sleeping. What you get from that, government is a dictatorship, it's totally failed, we need rid of government, rid of councils, we've got to get rid of the police, we've got to get rid of the courts, we've got to get rid of the evil corrupt doctors, who are many are satanic scum bastards like the McCanns. Protester wins fight to wipe political activity from police database. European Court of Human Rights rules reti retaining records on John Cook was not justified. A 94-year-old peaceful protester who won an eight-year legal battle to force the police to delete de details of his political activity from a secretive database. Secretive database! You're all on it. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to read the rest. It's just the same shit. Now... Colloidal silver was erased from textbooks because it cured diseases from tuberculosis to syphilis. 2,300 years ago, Alexander the Great was surveying his battlefield and drinking water from silver urns. He knew nothing about bacteria, but he knew that silver contains uh, containers have a seemingly miraculous way of keeping water fresh. Silver has been used for thousands of years, and I've been an advocate of colloidal silver for a long, long, years and years and years. I mentioned it in all my, almost all my talks. Um, you can make it yourself for as little as uh, 50 quid. You can buy a device that makes it, or you can buy the silver rods, uh, but it has to be 0.999 pure silver, uh, and it cures the common cold, flu, coughs, diseases. It, it's, it's a godsend. And we've known about it, even to the old days where they used to put a silver coin in the, an urn of milk because it would keep it fresh. 
Silver has been used for thousands of years different, uh, in different forms for its health benefits. Throughout the Middle Ages, the wealthy gave their children silver spoons and s to suck upon to sa uh, stave off illness. People have known about the benefits of silver for so long that it is incorporated into legends. Silver is recommended agent for killing va vampires, werewolves and various forms of the so-called undead, according to ancient legends. Sil a silver dagger was also that of a knight needed to vanquish evil. The new history of silver is uh, falsified history. Silver, what, what a shock. Silver was once used extensively by all health care practitioners as an antibiotic and antiviral. Nothing worked better than and nothing does now. The FDA begins began its crusade against silver products in the 30s because silver as a nut natural substance cannot be patented but but the organization or, organizations antibiotic and vaccine industry partners were able to patent their ways so in other words natural cure natural remedy cure it's a cure all it really is uh, so the, the pharmaceutical industry murderers can't make any profit from that so they make they just wiped it out the, the history books yeah no one knows about it another thing that's been hidden from history by a corrupt criminal government cartel government to repeal the 1972 european communities act this was a petition this petition was rejected because we're run by a corrupt eu uh, organization that class themselves as better they know more than you you're just a useless slave you don't know nothing and we ain't leaving europe royal solution to britain's housing crisis german design firm unveils plan to convert Buckingham palace 775 rooms into affordable flats for 50,000 londoners including vast multi-story extension because a british firm hasn't got the ability oh no but wait let's not forget that the royals are german Macron and Merkel on the brink. Laughable deal proves pair are in trouble, says MP. The latest treaty signed by French President traitor Emmanuel Macron and German traitor Chancellor Angela Merkel, in which they pointedly reaffirm their commitment to Europe and Brexit looming, proves that they're in trouble. And yeah, well, we all know that it's. it's the thing. After losing gun law, Italy now strengthens its self defence laws. Pretty, we ain't got a decent uh, leader ever here that does the same thing. I'm not going to read it because I haven't got too much time. European 5G Conference 2019 effectively admits 5G is a massive biological experiment. And you are who they're experimenting on. Link in the description if you want to read the article. I ain't got the time. Investigator uncovers international paedophile ring protected by police and intelligence ag agencies. And who's there? Jimmy Savile and the pedo Charles. Again, in link in the description. British taxpayers face 24 billion bill for tax relief to oil and gas firms. Like we don't pay enough for oil and gas, we're going to get hit again. Again, link in the description. It's rubbish. French President Macron blasts Brexit, saying UK's bid to leave Europe can't be dis delivered and had torn society apart. Well, let's face it, repeal the 72 Act we're out but of course they rejected that bid didn't they because we are in a dictatorship run by a criminal cabal that all need execution the scum salmon on two rape bids well what a shock mp that's also a paedophile i know it says rape but he will be a paedophile posh price yeah no thanks we we are not amused uh belt alarm switched off in in paedophile cars aye um, 2019 Oscar nominated Richard E. Grant, yeah. Uh, in the dark, Alex Salmon charges, charged with attempted rape and sexual assault. Less sex, please. Limp re re reviews for Blanche's, Blanchette's kinky return to West End. Crack down on student offers. Passport warning for 3.5 million Brits. Beginning guide to stargate grazing. Uh, Moscow tells the US don't dare interfere in Venezuela. I wonder why they're looking at Venezuela because, as I mentioned earlier, they've got more oil reserves than all the rest. And as usual, that's what it's about. The Times. Britain joins bid to topple Venezuela leader after mass protests. No, no, it's about the oil. Don't believe the bullshit. Fake news. Queen calls for end to feud of Brexit. MPs and country must seek common ground. Football pilot not qualified to take passenger paying passengers and salmon the paedophile. Mirror 
Why celebrity women can't resist the toy boy? It's a push for the paedophilia front. Extra edition, extra edition battle. Speedboat killers, high life on the run. Fugitive enjoys swanky ski jaunts and boozy trips to trendy nightclubs. Now he employs strictly cum dancing star as lawyer to fight case. They can't help but put strictly in there, can they? Express. Why toy boys are all the rage. Alex Salmon faced two attempt rape charges. With 63, year, day, 63 days to go, Whitfield of officials are given urgent orders to gear up for no deal Brexit. Yeah. And the parasite queen is crowned pointless chump, champ. Guardian, Salmon accused of sexual assault and attempted rape. Venezuela defense chief warns of civil war. Um, going back to Salmon, I am innocent. Yeah, of course you are, because all the, the paedophiles say that. Um, there is, these are now live cr criminal proceedings and it would be inappropriate to make any comment. Oh, and that's another dirty, filthy paedophile down there. Male. Speedboat killer outrage, he's using your money to appeal his conviction, but has hired 15,000 lawyers to fight extradition. No wonder his victim's family say it's final insult. Metro. Uh, again, it's uh, Salmon, 13 sex charges, dirty pedo if that he is. Um, the side bit, yeah, nothing much of interest there. Quickly moving on. Telegraph, Salmon charged with two accounts of attempted rape. Uh, former First Minister also facing multiple sexual assault charges after a four month investigation. Knife crime has a, at a record high uh, uh, murders saw. In, in, Will be criticised for f falling to failing to call Bell. Prostate cancer can host your longevity. Anything but independent. Um, let's lead a socialist overall of the EU. Trump's using the Cold War playbook. Your Middle East question answered. Really? Why does everyone love? With nail and I, I don't know. Salmon in dock for sex charges. Labour MPs bid to force Corbyn into referendum. <sighs> but we've had a referendum. You haven't done what we said. So it's quite clearly we can't trust you, which I knew and most of us knew anyway. Financial Times. Uh, Salmon faces attempted rape charges. Industry chief implore me to rule out no deal Brexit madness. No, we definitely don't want to deal. We'll leave on our terms, not. Because anything that she does is treason. It's treason anyway, but hey. And that's the shit for today.